This video is going to be based off of why she's ignoring you for attention. Or even for some of you girls that might be watching this video. Do you ever have a guy before that is just ignoring you? Probably to get your attention. Because I know guys, myself, even friends that I used to have that did this to girls, messing around with them, playing with them, simply because he knew he could do this to her. And it's a dirty thing to do. It just is. There should be all these games that I teach, bro. None of this shit, let's just be real. None of this fucking shit should even exist. In my opinion, the people that play these dumb fucking games are insecure themselves. Because they need to do this to get over on other people. Because they feel insecure. It's just funny to me. Why do people have to do shit like this? But anyway. Do you, do you ever talk to a girl before, bro, that she's... Once upon a time, you guys were talking maybe and everything was cool, and all of a sudden, she might start to ignore you for attention. You know she's still there, but she's ignoring you just to ignore you, but you know she's still there. Or maybe you guys hooked up, and now, She's ignoring you just to get your attention. This shit ever happened to you, bro? The reason she's ignoring you for your attention is because her head is huge right now. She's riding off of whatever the fuck you gave her. I don't know what you gave her, bro. I can't speak for you. But whatever type of energy you gave her, whatever type of validation you gave her, she is riding off that. And her head is huge right now. And she might be ignoring you just for your attention. She wants you to chase her. She's ignoring you because she wants you to keep chasing. Chase, chase, chase. In her head, she knows exactly what the fuck she's doing this whole fucking time. She knows what she's doing. She wants you to do that so she can eventually lock you down and make you her puppet. So she can have her way with you and do whatever she wants. Just like a narcissist would. All this shit is ridiculous, bro. It really is. It's almost funny, it's, it's getting funny to talk about because this shit should not exist. Why are people like this? Can somebody, can somebody tell me that? I know all these little games, bro. That's why I give you guys the game. But can, can somebody tell me why people have to do shit like this? I don't understand it. We'll never understand it. We'll never fully understand it. We can know these little tips and tricks to these games, but we don't. We'll never, not ever fully understand why. Never. <clears throat> She's gonna do shit like this to you up until the very last minute she can. She's gonna try to get away with whatever she can get away with. She's gonna test your manhood. She's gonna test. She's probably gonna test to see if you have a temper. She's gonna put you on so many shit tests, bro. Just to see what, what will this guy put up with. What can I get out of this guy? 
How far can I go with this guy? They all do it, bro. They all do it. I don't even care who you are as a female. You do this. Yes, you do. You do this. You do this. Why can't people just come together and share something instead of gaining the edge over one another? That shit don't make sense. That is toxic. That's what toxicity is. You should be all right with your own self. I should be all right with my own self. We come together. We share this bond. That's what, that's what it is. That's what a true bond is. Not trying to play these mind games with each other. Not trying to get up and over on one another. You're fine, I'm fine. Let's get together. Let's tango. No jealousy, envious, none of this bullshit. No toxic bullshit, no insecurities. You're fine, I'm fine. That's what it's gonna be, but unfortunately, there's a lot of fucking jealous, insecure, envious, all these fucking names in, in people. And that's why they have to do this. There's something wrong with them. And that's why they have to do this. They have no other choice. It's all they got. They really got nothing to offer. They really have nothing to bring to the table. If I was you guys, I would call these people out. I would let them know what they're doing. Let them know who they are. Let them know that you know. Don't beat around the bush, bro. Say it how it is. And see what they say. Because your best option is to leave their asses behind anyway. You shouldn't want to deal with these people. Because <coughs> if you deal with these people, that can lead you into that black hole that I was talking about. They can suck you into their world they can suck you into their insecure world. And before you know it, you're in it and you can't get out. Or if you do get out, it's, you're, gonna, you're gonna have to go through some hell to get out of that hole. I've been in that hole before, bro, without even knowing it. I slipped up. Because they're so good at getting you there. They're so manipulative. They get you lost in their own world. It's not where you want to be. And this is the reason why she's ignoring you for your attention. Plain and simple. People that want to talk to people, people that want something with people, people that know what they want, don't do this. People that will ignore you just for your attention have all these problems that I'm talking about. And there's not even a question about it. They have very deep insecurities about themselves and these are untrustworthy people. They're untrustworthy because they are not sure of who they are as a person. You don't want to deal with somebody on this level if they don't even know who they are as a person. And they don't know who they are as a person because they don't work in themselves enough. Not nearly enough. In fact, some people never work in themselves at all. They're just always distracted doing something else. Always. Never working on themselves. Ever. Never. 
So I'm gonna cut this video short right here. I hope you got I hope you guys enjoyed another topic on this stuff. I'll be back tomorrow with some more shit. Till next time, I'm out.